Hi guys, it's Wave McMaster here. I do have another video for you today. Basically, I'm going to be walking you through how you can start a basic WordPress website using HostGator. And the reason I recommend HostGator is I've actually, being a web designer, I've actually built over 100 websites in my time, used various hosts, um, and I've just found that HostGator is the one that I have never actually even had a problem with, despite hosting uh, a good 40 or so websites for customers over the years. I've never actually had any technical issues with the hosting and their performance seems to be good. Whereas with a lot of other hosts, I have had issues uh, and uh, I've yet to have one issue with HostGator when it comes to their performance and that sort of thing. So I do, the reason why I recommend this host is just simply because it's so stable. Now, the video I'm going to go through is very basic, very very quick and straightforward. If you do need to, to go to HostGator, this is, uh, here's the link. It's actually my affiliate link, so I do earn a commission if you go ahead and purchase. But I recommend you watch this video. It only goes for uh, a few minutes and just see what's involved in creating a WordPress website quickly. You'll see just how easy it is, and then I'll obviously show you the link at the end of the video again so that you can make a more informed decision as to whether you want to use HostGator or not. So, I've just landed on the HostGator website here. Now, we've got a few options. WordPress hosting, web hosting, that sort of thing. Now, I actually prefer to use cloud hosting. So, the way that works is basically if I scroll down to the bottom of the page, for some reason, it actually is hidden up here, and I'm not exactly sure why. So, you can, you can go straight to web hosting if you want to. I prefer to go down to cloud hosting down here right down the bottom in the footer. And I usually recommend Baby Cloud, mainly because it has unlimited domains, you get your free SSL certificate, whereas here with the Hatchling Cloud, while you still get your SSL certificate, you uh, only get the single domain. And of course you can upgrade at any time, but if you want to have unlimited domains, that means you can have more than one website or multiple domains pointing to that one website. And I usually recommend signing up here, and that way, um, so for the Baby Cloud, and that way you're sort of getting the pretty much all you need. Now I'm not going to go through this sign up process. Basically, what you need to do is go through and enter a domain name if you want to sign up, and uh, so that way you get a domain name with your hosting account. If you already have a domain name, you can type it in here, and you will get then a uh, you will then get some DNS servers to update with your domain registrar depending on who that is. But if you're just starting out, enter a domain you'd like to register and sign up for your Cloud Baby package here. Give yourself a pin, fill out the details, and uh, sign up. Now, obviously, th this here you can choose what you want to go for. You can obviously put in details. You can pay by PayPal if you want to. But when I get down to the additional services here, I do recommend the HTTPS. Obviously, it's free, so it doesn't really matter. And I do recommend you go with the default setup of site lock mirroring and site backup, just because it gives you a little extra stability and security around your account. The other thing is, um, if you want to go with a Gmail account, you could tick this and actually get a uh, Google Cloud Gmail. I have set this up before, but not through HostGator, but uh, it is a solid service if you'd like to run that for your emails. And then, of course, you get a code, which uh, if you use my affiliate link, um, which is on the screen in the bottom corner, you do get a discount if you land uh, through there, or a, de a decent sort of percentage. So once you've gone through there and, signed, and clicked and checked out, You'll then uh, need to just wait for your account to be set up, which can take it can take uh, 20 minutes, half an hour, sometimes a few hours, or you can just simply come back the next day and go from there. So what I'm going to do is now that we've I've shown you just what what it takes to sign up, I'm going to log into my account and I'll show you exactly how you can get started. Okay, so now we're logged into my HostGator account here. Um, so what I've actually got is a bit of a test server I've set up, but I had this before we started the video, so obviously. Um, yeah, going through the whole sign-up process might be a bit late, a bit long, but uh, you can see here, this is the first screen we get when we log in. It says here, hosting package, and it has my hosting package here. Now, I can launch the cPanel and sort of do things through there, but I actually prefer to go through this area here, manage package, which you can also, if you go up to hosting here on the left, you can click and see a hosting package there. But what we're going to do to get started, we're going to click on manage package here on this screen under under manage. And you see we get taken to this screen here. We've got a few options. Now, because we're building a website in WordPress, you'll see straight here in the middle, there's a button here that says install WordPress. So you can actually click on that and start the whole process pretty quickly. 
Okay, so you can see we, we're met with this page here. Now, if, uh, all, all I'm going to need to do at this point is simply follow the prompts. It's quite easy. I will still go through, but even if I stop the video here, you should be able to follow the prompts quite easily and get to where you need to go. Now, all I need to do is if I want, I can add in here a directory, um, but I'm, I'm just going to leave that blank because we want to install direct to our domain address. So over here in the drop down, I'm going to click Flayed Industries. I'm going to not touch this at all because I want it to install straight to that domain. I'm just going to click Next. Now I'm going to give my blog a title. So maybe I'll call it Flayed Official Website or something like that. And I'm going to give an admin user. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, I'm not going to choose admin because it is a bit of a security risk to have such an obvious name. I want to choose something a little bit more unique. So what I'm going to choose, I'm going to call it Flayed Manager. Flayed Manager, there you go. Something that people aren't going to be able to guess or bots aren't going to be able to guess. So I don't really want to use just my uh, domain name or anything like that. And of course, my first name, last name, and email address. So I'll put in an email address here. I do want to keep this ticked and click terms. All right, by clicking, I accept. I'll click both boxes and then click install. So at this point, I'm just waiting for WordPress to install. It will take a minute or two and you'll see straight away, it didn't take that, that long at all, but now I have my installation details here. So what I want to do is I want to copy these details, copy, and I just want to add them to, say, like a, a notepad document. So if I go run, type in notepad, and I want to save this somewhere so that way I know where I need to go in order to log in. Now, the other thing too is you can log in through your HostGator panel, but this is username and password here, and you should get an email stating where your installation is. So that's pretty straightforward. All I need to do now to log in is click this login button. And then we get this login screen. We just use the same details we had before, the ones we set up, as well as a password given to us. And you can see now we're logged in. This is the dashboard of our WordPress site. So you basically got your website set up now and it's um, you just, you're ready to start actually putting your content in there. Now, I won't go into a lot of detail now, but I will touch on a few things very quickly. If you do want to see what your website currently looks like, you can go up the top to this area here with the little house symbol and go to visit site. And you see you've got the basic sort of beginnings of the website there. And uh, if you want to, you can go through back up the top here where the house symbol was is now a dial. You can go back into dashboard to access the rest of your website. So to give you a quick overview, if you do want to start getting into this as well, is that down here is where you put your where you uh, add and edit your blog posts for your blog if you want one. Otherwise, here is where you can add and edit the pages of your website. And of course, you do want to go through and check out your settings. Go through, check out your general settings, writing that sort of thing, and um, go from there. And then once you've actually got your website the way you want it to look, you'll see here there's a section that says "Coming Soon Active." And then just underneath it, it'll say your site is currently displaying a coming soon page. Once you're ready to launch your site, click here, which you can do quite easily by clicking that. And that will make your website live. You'll even see here, uh, congratulations, your site is live. And then if I head down, if I want to turn it back on, I can head down to settings and general. Scroll down. You'll see default coming soon page. I can turn that back on if I want to. So that's basically how you get your WordPress website up and running started. And now the last thing I'm going to go through, uh, and I'm going to also got another resource for you after this video that will help you get your website even further developed. But first we're going to go into appearance and themes. So down the left to appearance and themes. This is where you control the look of your website. So at the moment we've got the 2019 theme, we've got a few other themes available. If I want to add a new theme, I can actually purchase the theme and upload one. Or I can simply search through WordPress.org themes. And I can pick a free theme here and start to uh, modify things the way we want. Now, uh, I won't go through that here, but it's just a simple case of clicking here, installing, and then activating that theme. So you can see how your website will look before you install it by opening it up and having a look. Um, maybe you don't like that one, so then you decide you're going to check out this theme here. You can see that this is what your website will look like if you choose this theme. And there are endless amounts of themes on here. You can go through the featured themes on this page, or you can even uh, go through the latest popular, do a bit of a search. If you're looking for a car theme, you can choose something like this. 
even though that's actually a, a, a care pet care clinic just had the word car in the word care you can basically go through and find a theme that you want so you're basically ready to start building website design pages and that sort of thing now the final thing I will tell you is that there's a lot more to building a website than simply installing WordPress so I do actually have a free email course that you can use that will show you all of the steps how to get your search engine optimization set up how to install and pick a theme how to create pages uh, everything you need to actually create your website I actually have a free email course that you can uh, subscribe to now I'm going to put the link on the screen right now otherwise there is a link in the description below that you can use that will actually um, take you to the same page so that so that way if you're not 100% certain on how to work on your website the resource pages I create will be there for you so that you can actually go through, get the information you need, and get your website set up properly and looking the way you want. Otherwise, if you want more videos like this one, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.